Hello everyone. Today we are going to have a look at the wonderful option of Adobe Illustrator and that is Image Trace. The main purpose of this option is to convert the JPG or the PNG image into a vector form and you will then be able to scale it up as much as you want and it will never get pixelated. So let's start with this simple illustration uh, and we are going to have a look at different variations of image tracing. So this is the first one. First of all, go to window, image trace, okay, and from here select color because we want to keep the colors of this image as a as an output. So keep the pass at the normal level, corners to hundred percent, noise to zero, okay, and from here it is the color has been selected, and here you can see there are number of colors you want to keep in a in an illustration. Let's suppose this illustration has five colors, but some may have around 20 or 25 colors. So it basically depends on us how much colors we want to keep as the final output of the illustration. Okay, so simply click trace, right? It has been converted into a vector. Okay, now let's have a look the variation. Look, if we select only two colors, the output will be like this. If we select three, so it will include the three colors. And when we select five, it will retain all the colors as in the original image. Okay, so our JPG or PNG image had five colors, so it has been transformed into five colors as final output. And after tracing the image, just click on expand, right? And then go to object and ungroup. So this will let you change or edit the shape with any other any other color that you want and it will never get pixelated no matter how much you scale it up okay let's have a look at it uh, you can change the color okay let's have a look and at another trick of the image trace so let's suppose this is a black and white illustration and we want to make it a color one okay so the same procedure will be followed select the picture but make sure to select black and white from here because we are going to trace the black portion okay and simply click trace okay it has now traced so first the first option is a threshold so let's understand the threshold threshold is basically the black portion that will be that will be uh, appeared as a final output so as we lower the threshold the black lines will be less visible at and if we just increase the threshold the black lines will be dominant so once again it all it also it once again depends on us uh, which type of output do we want okay after making necessary changes you can adjust the corners the paths the noise everything click on expand okay and then ungroup by pressing ctrl shift g multiple times and just delete the outer portion of this illustration okay now you can see that you can individually color each and every portion of this illustration so and it has been transformed into a vector form you can scale it up and scale it down as much as you want the quality will never be affected okay one more thing let's suppose you do not want this white portion in the entire illustration and you just want to keep it as a black outline so for that just grab the magic wand tool from here click on any portion of the white part and simply click delete now if you see that if, if i place this square behind the illustration so you will observe no color inside it okay you can simply delete it so this is the way you can remove the white portion of the illustration so that were the minor tips of image trace option and i hope you will like it and will include in your projects